Joni D and Little Joan with the screenwriter's rant on The Girl on the Mountain, starring Daniel O'Reilly, a thriller movie about a girl on a mountain. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Please check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's the Pineys, books one through seven. Check it out. Uh, Amazon has Kindle Unlimited, and if you have that, the books are free to read. Seven books for free. That's pretty good. It's a good deal. Anyhow, uh, the girl on the mountain. So this dude, who kind of reminds me of a young Will Farrell in that shot, doesn't he? Um, he is. I'm not sure what he is. He's he's a hiker. He went out into the woods to do do a little hiking and mountain climbing, I guess. Maybe do some camping, living in the outdoors. And while he's uh, washing up, a girl steals his backpack out of nowhere, like in the middle of the woods, so he chases her down. Finds out uh, she's deaf, number one, so she can't talk. But um, her, her stepdad, who she refers to as Big Al, I think it's her stepdad. I don't think it's his real dad. Um, may have killed her mother, and she's a witness. And uh, now she's running for her life. Because Big Al is a mean dude. He's a mean dude. And he's got some good old boys. And a uh, handsome man here <laughs> is going to save the little girl. So it's, uh, you know, it's kind of a survival mixed with, uh, mixed with a, 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 a redemption arc. A redemption arc because he's got some deal. They don't, they hint at it in the trailer, but they don't explain what it is. So he's going to save this girl. Uh, he's got he's got an old timey western gun, but the other guys have regular guns. Uh, so let's see who's who did this story by Matt Sconce, who produced it, and Christopher Juan Mejia, written and directed by Matt Sconce. Oh, okay, so he's Matt Sconce doing all the heavy lifting here, producing it, directing it, writing it, uh, along with a screenwriter who also co-produced it. All right. So the two producers get together, they got an idea for a story, they hatch it out, they write the screenplay together. Although, no, Sconce wrote the screenplay. And then he directs it. All right, cool. Um, and then it stars Daniel O'Reilly and Mackenzie Sconce. Ah, is Mackenzie the girl? Uh, that's interesting. Uh, maybe it's his daughter or his younger sister interesting so he's trying to launch his sister's career that's cool that's cool oh and heather sconce is in the credits too uh looks like one of the cast so i'm not sure heather who, who is heather is heather could be anybody now i didn't see a woman uh i saw the older woman the mom so maybe heather sconce is the mother or wife of the director i, I don't know I don't know. Interesting. Interesting. So keeping it in the family with the girl on the mountain. It looks decent. It looks well produced. Uh, do we have a date on this? I don't think we do. It doesn't look that way. I'll just play the credits here. No, 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 no date on it. Let's see. Is there a date down here? No. But, you know, it looks uh, a bit low budget. But that's to be expected. When you when you shoot a movie in the woods, it tends to be a low-budget affair. It's not like a big-budget thing. I mean, there's no names in this. No big names. So, uh, that, you know. But it looks good. I mean, it's a, it's, the music's good. Um, it's, it's very, it's a lot of violin music, but kind of like intense violin music. And, uh, interesting premise, you know. I like premises like this. Like, my, one of my favorite movies is North by Northwest, and it just starts. It just starts because um, uh, Roger stumbles into something. He's he's not meaning that he's just a normal guy. And he just happens to stand up at the wrong time and he gets caught up in this whole adventure. This is very similar in that, you know, he's just hiking in the woods by himself and then runs into this girl. I mean, what are the odds? And then this whole adventure starts because of that. And they subtitle the deaf girl's responses, which he seems to understand. So, and then together, he's trying to save her and get her out of the woods. He's coming. Um, so, yeah. I mean, this all looks good. This all looks good. Um, 
you know, you got you got the baddies here. You got Big Al. He seems okay. Um, but, you know, the path to redemption, I mean, that's clearly, it's a clearly a redemption arc uh, with uh, Handsome Beard Guy. Handsome Beard Guy has to redeem himself for some reason. You know, and you can only guess at it because they don't say. So I would break down the acts like this. The first act, of course, he goes into the woods and he's having a great time and it's nature and it's beautiful. He runs into this girl or this girl tries to steal his backpack and he's like, hey, wait a minute. And he catches up to her. And then he tries to explain to the girl that he doesn't want to hurt her or anything. He's just like, why, why are you here? And she's reluctant to tell him anything. And then he says, well, I'll, I'll help you. You know, we're a few days out. I assume they're in the middle. Who knows where they are? If I had to guess, they're somewhere, somewhere in the uh, uh, American Southwest, maybe. Uh, no, it'd be a little north, maybe north, north of that, a little more north, like somewhere. I don't know, Colorado, y maybe Montana in the summer, in a in a summery climb. Anyhow, he says, "Listen, stick with me. I'll get you out of here." She agrees to that, but it's cautious. And then, in the second act, um, we get to see, she either opens up to him, or we see that the villains in the movie are after her. And then, now it's like, okay, we gotta get you out of these woods. And for whatever reason, they run into him. They probably have an encounter first, and uh, maybe she runs away, and then he has to find her again, and then, you know, save her. Or, um, you know, maybe they have an encounter, and they can't they can't go the normal way, like going back to town, the nearest town, is where the guys are, you know, where the villains are. So, um, so in the second act, it becomes, uh, you know, a survival game. They're going to go out in the woods and, and kill him or get the girl back. I'm not sure which. I mean, it's a, it's a young girl, so they may just want to kill him and take the girl back and then just, just boss her around forever. Uh, who knows? But Big Al... You know, he, he and his boys. Yeah, uh, villain-wise, they're a little lackluster, I would say. I, I would hope the movie would flesh them out a little more. But uh, the protagonist seems good. Uh, this seems to be a good dynamic. And then the third act, of course, he redeems himself either by sacrificing himself to save the girl or, um, you know, I don't think he'll he dies. That would be my guess. My guess would be he would live, he'd be probably injured, and together they both get out of the woods and become, I don't know, friends. <laughs> Maybe he adopts her or whatever. Um, but I don't think, I mean, he could die. I mean, that's a typical redemption thing. Like, he sacrifices himself to save the girl. Um, but, I mean, if he dies, then all the other guys have to die too in order for her to be saved. Right? Right? Or they'd have to find some other people who aren't in the trailer to, uh, you know, because you don't want her going back to this dude. Um, so, yeah, and see, they bond. It seems like a wholesome movie. It doesn't seem anything weird going on between the two of them. Obviously, she's too young for that. Um, so this looks good. This looks like a good, decent premise for a thriller. It's low budget. Here's, here's probably a final confrontation at the end. It's raining. <laughs> it's not really raining. They're just you could you could kind of tell. I think you can kind of tell here. Like the rain doesn't go all the way back. It doesn't look like it's them like, you know, doing fake rain. But that's fine. That's fine. Oh, he has the girl. You can see the girl there. And then it's a final confrontation. Um, so maybe he's a vet. I don't know. This this uh, uh, scarf. This uh, reminds me of um, what they would wear in more desert climbs. So maybe he's like an Iraqi vet or an Afghani vet, something like that. And that's why he has the skills. Um, so yeah, uh, uh, The Girl on the Mountain from Saban. It's in 2022. No release date here. I'm going to guess this is probably going to go direct to streaming because it doesn't have any big names. But I'd, I'd say it. Yeah, looks uh, looks decent. And that's it for me, Tony D, and Little Joan. Uh, check us out on BitChute, Odyssey, and Rumble for our other base takes. We make four videos a day, and two of them go on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble. I'm hearing rumors that it's better just to make one 
uh, video on YouTube. So I might go to that. I don't know. Um, might try it out. I've tried it a couple of times before, but you know, everybody's getting kicked off of YouTube. So I don't know. My subscriber base goes up and then my views go down. Does that make any sense to you? Anyhow, check out the News Blast and Hollywell Hot Take on the other channels, and we'll see you tomorrow. Ah, oh, wrong button.